This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution, featuring the Orion HOTAS current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. It's late December 2021. We now have some additional functions of the CMDS, the countermeasure system in the F-16C. We've already done a first part of this video and this is the second part with the extra features. Today we're interested in the CMDS panel here that allows us to control the countermeasure system and the DED here where we can program the countermeasure programs. In the previous video, we looked at manual mode. This means that we can manually fire a program of chaff and flare via CMS forward switch. And there are six programs that we can use. If you remember, we can edit these programs through the DED. So, list seven for CMDS. In here, we can edit those six programs. We can fire those six programs manually. Programs one to four can be fired by selecting this program knob here. Program five can be fired by pressing this button here. And program six can be fired by pressing CMS switch left. So that's the recap. Now let's look at the three new modes. Semi-automatic, automatic, and bypass. Semi-automatic is similar to the manual mode. It will listen to the RWR and if a third party radar locks us, it will advise us verbally to manually fire the currently selected program, in this case one which we'll use by pressing CMS forward. So the only real difference is there is listening for a radar lock and telling us when to fire the system. Automatic is very different. Again, it will listen for a radar lock. When it detects a radar lock, it will, first of all, fire the program itself. It doesn't wait for me, it just fires it itself. Secondly, it will not use the currently set program. It will use the program of Chaff and Flare it sees fit depending on the threat. In this case, because we don't have an IR detection system, we only have a radar detection system, automatic will only ever fire Chaff, as we'll see in a bit. Finally, bypass. Bypass bypasses the whole system and allows us with a press of CMS forward to fire one chap and one flare. So let's show it in operation. Let's set semi up. Let's get RC to come and lock us and stand by. Okay, RC, I'm on program one selected and I'm on semi automatic. Please lock me with a single target track. She said counter. That means she's advising us verbally to manually fire the system, which I'll do now with CMS forward you notice that it's firing program one, which is currently set as 10 jab and 10 flare each every second. Finish. Please release the lock, RC. Okay. Okay, next, automatic no mode, mode. Please get an STT on me. The system has detected we have a radar lock and it's firing only chaff. And it will keep doing that until we lose the lock, basically. So it will waste all of your chaff very quickly. And I wouldn't really suggest using it. And if I go to bypass, we can trigger one chap and one flare. That's the system. It's pretty easy, I'll see. Is there anything you want to add to that? Nope. Hope that was useful and see you later.